Hello, I'm Jared Morrison. I'm joined here by Jim Spillers, Farmington Band Director. Mr. Spillers, thank you so much for joining us. Um, sure. We're getting ready. We're going to broadcast the um, uh, annual Christmas concert. Tell us a little bit about the concert, kind of the tradition. How long has that been going on? What all is involved and, and what can people expect? Okay, well, I inherited the uh, Christmas concert when I got here 27 years ago. And in those days, it was beginner band, high school band. Now it will be beginner band, seventh grade band, 8th grade band, ninth grade band, jazz band, and senior high band. So we'll have, however many groups that adds up to be, I think four concert bands and jazz band. And this will be the first year that we've had our jazz band actually playing a Christmas program at the Christmas concert. About 10 years ago, we had a after-school jazz band that met, and just whatever students could be there were a part of it. Now it's an actual class. The students meet every other day on our block schedule and have been preparing for this concert for about the last three weeks. And so, um, you know, this is one of this one of your concerts that you have every year. What other concerts are kind of annual traditions or, or annual that you have every year? Well, we have added the uh, Veterans Day concert, mm -hmm. and that is a big program that we do at the high school now, and the junior high does their own, or middle school, I should say, does their own separate evening program. Then we have, of course, this Christmas program. We have been typically doing a late winter, early spring performance to that we perform our music that we're preparing for assessment because the bands do go to an assessment where they get graded every year and that is either mid-March or mid-April depending upon the year. And then we do an end of the year concert and a graduation concert. So all of those are something we traditionally do. So, you know, I remember back when I was in high school coming and listening to the, the Christmas concert. I've come, you know, several years um, while I've been here as an employee. Uh, the, one, the one song always sticks out to me is Sleigh Ride. Uh, but what, what are some of the songs that you're going to do that, that you kind of are traditional that you always do? Well, we're actually going to close with Sleigh Ride this year. This will be the first time this generation of students has had the opportunity to play that music. We try to rotate so that we keep something traditional every year and then something that we would bring back every few and then new music. The uh, traditional piece this year is a piece called Joyful Bells of Christmas that is a medley of various Christmas tunes and features our mallet percussion. And it's been a big hit for the last few years. And then this year we're playing a version of Away in a Manger that if you're familiar with Mannheim Steamroller, this is one of their publications and it features flugelhorn solo, which one of our trumpet players will play flugelhorn on that. And then features all the sections in rotating melodies then we're also playing, by popular demand of the high school, we're playing music from Frozen. And this will actually be one of the hardest pieces that we have ever attempted on a high school concert. It is very difficult, and we've been working a lot on it. And then, of course, we're going to close with Sleigh Ride. And then the jazz band is going to do a... These are all swing or country waltz versions of music. We're going to do a, a swing version of Jingle Bells, a swing version of Deck the Halls. And we're doing a Floyd Kramer style arrangement of Away in a Manger, which will feature the typical Floyd Kramer triplet hits on the piano and on the mallet instruments. And we're also doing a two-beat uh, Joy to the World to close the jazz band portion of the concert. And then uh, one of our younger bands is doing a piece called Dance of the Snowman, which has, we've done a couple of times with our younger students. And beginner band will play the traditional pieces that we do for beginner band. We do Jingle Bells, Picking Wenceslas, and... Uh, up on the housetop with our beginner band. And then the bands, the ninth and eighth grade band, will be doing some new music. They they typically have the opportunity to explore newer music every year than the beginners do. And so um, this is this Sunday, the this Sunday. December the 14th. 14th. 14th, yes, sir. And beginner band will start start off? Start off at 2 o'clock. It's beginner band, seventh grade band. They'll both be on the gym floor. One will play. I think 7th grade band starts and then 6th grade band and they play back and forth. Then the jazz band will actually set up and play. And that's all students, primarily in grades 10, 12, we have I think four ninth graders in that group. And then we'll have the 8th uh, and ninth grade band set up and they'll play against, you know, one will play a piece, the other will play a piece, back and forth. And then the senior high band sets up last and plays their program and closes the show with sleigh ride. So, you know, it's Friday right now. Um, here in a few hours we'll have... Uh, are the Knights of the Lights go out in Massey for basketball. You know, the last basketball game here in Massey Gymnasium. This will be the last concert, correct me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, is that correct? That the last should concert. be the last concert in the Massey Gym. Yes, Which, sir. You know, Massey Gymnasium has been a good 
a good basketball gymnasium, but I don't know that you could say it's a real good concert <laughs> location. <It's laughs> not not the best. From a seating capacity, it's been wonderful for yeah. us, but acoustically, not mm. not what we're going to be moving into in this new performing arts center that we've been blessed with. So tell us a little bit about the, the performing arts center, what's kind of our schedule that we're going to have, um, you know, as far as performances in there this spring. Oh, wow. The, the spring's going to be very busy. I know between the uh, drama department, the choir department, and the band department, we have a lot going on over there. We will also, our percussion, will be doing day of percussion and percussion ensemble performances over there. Uh, we will have a solo night later on where our students will be able to show off their solo abilities on the stage and each department has a lot planned for the future there will be many many things for our community to attend there plus the arkansas winds community band will be giving a concert on I believe it's february 28th there it will be a, a sci-fi concert we're playing things like godzilla eats las vegas which is a very phenomenal piece and i'll be conducting the band the arkansas winds on a piece called star trek through the generations which you know, goes along with our fall show, the Marching Man to the Trek show, and we're going to kind of close out our Star Trek year with that, with the Arkansas Winds. So a lot of things are going to happen there and bring a lot to our community, and it's really exciting. And it, it will be things throughout the springtime. Well, thank you very much. I know we look forward to your Christmas concert moving into the new place. Lots of uh, lots of new um, things and, and things on the horizon for, for the fine arts here in Farmington. And we really appreciate you taking time to talk to I us look today. forward to it. And, and one more thing that Basketball patrons are going to be treated to every Tuesday night as a jazz band night in the arena. The oh, jazz really? band will cover the basketball games on Tuesday night instead of the pet band because we wanted to give those students a venue mm -hmm. to be heard. So we're going to have a, a whole new element on the Tuesday night games. And where were you guys set at? That's uh, Now that you mentioned that, where is the band going to be located? Mm -hmm. in the we're going to be in the northeast corner. Okay. So we will be opposite, exactly opposite the concession stand as you're in the concessions area. Looking directly across the arena will be where the band sits. So you'll be playing towards the home side? Towards the entire okay. crowd. We will be in a way that the entire crowd will be able to hear what we're doing. Okay. Not just playing across, but literally filling up the entire arena with sound. Well, that's great. Well, Ms. Billers, thank you very much, and have a good day. Thank you. You too, sir.